I got the magic stick, well, I'm a love doctor, have your friends teething you with how strong I got gotcha. you. Well then your new album, uh, Strings and Stripes. Very good. Explain Very me cool. the strings. The strings, yeah, um, actually, um, we, um, we, we, first we thought about stars and stripes because we shoot our video and, 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 and photos um, in LA. That was really cool because it was February and we need a place where the sun is always shining. So we had the chance to go to California. And, um, and I mean, the American people are always so, I mean, they have all everywhere these flags, the stars and stripes. And because we shoot the video there and we had this music in our ears the whole time, we, we, we associated this, this flag to, to, to summer vibes and summer feelings. So, and, but it's a really, let's say, a bit simple to name an album Stars and Stripes. So we thought about another summerish thing <laughs> that you can see very often in the summer. Guitar strings. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. So the stripes... Uh, and the asses, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new guitar string, very nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well then, um, the selection of the songs. Um, how do you select a song, uh, well, to give your makeover, your rock and roll makeover? How, how does the selection work? It's like um, we're, we're sitting in the car or, or yeah, watching mu music TV and it's not that we have the chart list in front of us and we pick, okay, let's, let's see, oh, Lady Gaga has a song, let's try this one. It's more or less that we, we, we listen to a song and it's kind of love on first sight. A song has to have a good melody and good chords and um, yeah, some lyrics. And uh, if that is given, then we, we take this, this uh, idea that we have. For example, when you are at a concert, you will recognize that we try to quote some songs of the 50s in our versions. And, um, but the thing is that we, we come up with the idea into the rehearsal complex and we have our band, our four musicians, and they are really, really good in, 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 in rock and roll music and they have good knowledge about the 50s and 60s. And um, yeah, we, we <laughs> it's more or less like a jam session. You know, Basti says, for example, let's do Born This Way from Lady Gaga. I have an idea, let's, I don't know, do it in a CC Rider version of Elvis and, and then our guitar player says, yeah, I can play this uh, riff over that uh, tune. And uh, actually there was, it's a good working together, so it's, there are so many ideas and, and yeah, and of course we know each other very well because we, we've been working since the baseball were born and, and that's pretty good to work with a band together. Well then, maybe you can explain one song, how you, how, you, how you did it. Let's pick the song with the best melody, Candy Shop by 50 Cent. With the best melody? <laughs> um, Candy Shop was the first rap song that we, that we ever uh, made in a rock and roll style. And it was the first time that we had the space to, to add more to the song in a harmonic way. That means, for example, um, the original verses of Candy Shop are, I mean, 50 Cent just raps this, this stuff and he has just a bit of bass in the background. And, and we said, okay, we can, do, we, we can translate these bass notes to real chords and, and we can make them happier as they are in the original, even though the chorus, for example, we just we just took the space and and, and said okay let's make um, let's 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 switch this this dark feeling of the song to a major part that it's that it's more more happy to people and now we're standing on the stage and singing really happily I got the magic stick well, I'm a love a doctor have your friends teething you with how strong I got gotcha. you and uh, actually nobody cares what we're thinking <laughs> there because yeah. they're just realizing okay this music feels good. I mean, what you actually feel when you're a child and you listen to music. You listen to music and you don't think about the lyrics or, or about the message. You just, yeah, you just snap your fingers or, or hip your whips to, to the music. And, and, and it's cool that we, that we um, reach this, this aim Did you a say bit. hip your whips? Hip your, ship, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shake your hips, right? Yeah, I'm, yeah shake I'm your actually, hips. I'm was sh uh, talking about shake your hips. Yeah, right, cool. You just say hip your whips. Hip, hip your whips. Hip your whips. Oh, that sounds really good. You, you yeah. can also say whip your hips. Whip your hips. Um, yeah, and, and, and Candy Shop was such a song that, that, that worked in the end as a, as a rock and roll version. How, how do you clear these songs? Do you have to clear them? For, for our good luck, we have a record company who cares about this, so we don't have to call every every uh, writer or composer by our own. We just say, okay, here are the songs we want to do on the record, and they say, okay, we're going to care about it. And there was never a case that somebody said, okay, you're not allowed to put this on a record. I think 
yeah, maybe that's a, that's also a big compliment if nobody yeah. says we we not allow you to do this. Yeah, but, yeah, but I think it was harder maybe on the first album to get the song clear than on this one because now people know how you work. Or, or it was easier. Actually, we don't had the, we, we didn't ask the record company if, if they uh, if they had any problems, but. Uh, yeah, it, it, it was working really quickly, so I think everything was fine for and them. They just give us the freedom to do yeah. anything we want in the room. That's good for working. 